Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerd in Dummies. I got so, 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 so many requests from you guys to do something Gravity Falls related. And I am very excited to be doing this episode because I personally love cartoons and anything animation related. So today we are going to be making something we've never made on Nerdy Dummies before. We are going to be making a hat cake. Dipper's hat. All right, let's get started. We are gonna be making a blue velvet cake from scratch. I am so excited. And all the ingredients laid out here is for a double recipe. So be warned, this is for a double recipe because we're gonna be making two cakes. The things you will need will be four cups of regular sugar, five cups of flour, two cups of buttermilk, four eggs, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of vinegar, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and four sticks of butter. You'll also need some blue food coloring to make our velvet cake, blue velvet cake, and a mixing bowl, hand mixer, a hand whisk, and we've got two pans for our cake. One is a regular round eight inch pan, and the second is a glass Pyrex bowl. Tip my hat to you. Let's put it all together. The first thing that we're gonna do is mix together our salt and flour. Dump in our salt, take your whisk, and mix it up. And now we're gonna set this aside and mix up our wet ingredients. Now in a big mixing bowl, we're gonna cream together our butter and sugar. And you'll just wanna make sure that your butter is room temperature so it's very soft, easy to cream. Our butter's all mixed up, and now we're gonna add our eggs. This is an important step. So you're gonna add one egg and then mix. One egg and then mix. Now we're gonna add our cocoa powder and mix it up again. There's a lot of mixing in this recipe. When you're making stuff from scratch, you mix a lot. Instead of sir mix a lot, I miss mix a lot. Now we are gonna alternate adding our dry ingredients and our buttermilk into our creamed bowl. And this is why you're gonna want to use a big mixing bowl because it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be full. So we're gonna start with our flour and then mix it up. And then add a buttermilk. Just keep alternating until all the ingredients are mixed together. This bowl is getting so heavy, it's almost full. All right, next we are gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. Ooh. And then we're gonna mix it up again. This is one of my favorite parts. It just, it's like kind of sciencey. I don't know why it's my favorite part, but it is. So in a little glass bowl, we're gonna combine our vinegar and baking soda. And it's gonna have a chemical reaction and we're gonna keep stirring it until the chemical reaction has died down. Vinegar, and then here we go, bake it, oh, so cool. Then I'm just using this little spatula. It's a little, look at it, like a, let's get started. It's a little finger spatula. We're just gonna use this to mix it up. Now we're gonna add this and mix it up. Last step is to make our blue velvet cake blue. So you can use any type of food coloring that you like. I have liquid or gel. I've noticed that gel is much more effective with a cake batter, but you can do whatever you'd like. Look at that blue velvet cake. I'm blue on my knee, on my eye, on my knee. That is an old song, I apologize. Okay, now we're gonna grease our pans. So I've got a little bit of butter here, well, this is a lot of butter, but we're just gonna grease all the way around the pan and you're gonna grease the bowl all the way around. Oh, here we go. Here's where we need our mussels. We're gonna pour in a bunch of batter. Do, 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 do. I like to fill them about 75% full, and if I accidentally fill a little too much, that's okay. When they bake and they go a little bit high, I just cut off the top. We are gonna bake these cakes at different heats for different time lengths. I have a double oven, so this is very easy, and if you don't have a double oven, just bake them separately. The first cake, you want to bake at 350 for about 25 minutes, and the second cake, because it's deeper, I do this thing called a slow bake, where I reduce the heat to about 320, 315 and I bake 40 to 50 minutes. After your cakes are done baking, make sure they've had plenty of time to cool and then we are gonna frost and stack them. I've placed the regular round cake onto a cake sheet and I've placed it 
towards the back, you'll see, so that there's plenty of room in the front for the bill of the hat. And then over here, I have some buttercream frosting that I've just put into a plastic baggie to make it a little bit easier. Take your baking scissors, snip the tip, and then we're gonna frost. And take your spatula, spread it around, and then, oh my gosh, here's our little bowl cake. It's so cute. So you're gonna flip it over, stick it right on top. It's not perfect, but that's okay. Then you're gonna take a sharp cutting knife and shape your cake to look more like a hat. All right, ta-da! I've got my shape carved out. I did a little flatter in the front. It looks a little messy, but don't worry, we're gonna be covering it with frosting right now. So right now, take the rest of your buttercream frosting, just frost the entire cake. I'm just trying to make it as smooth as I can so that when we put the fondant on, it will look right. Once your cake is all frosted, I'm just gonna set this in the freezer for about 30 minutes to chill, and while it's chilling, let's roll out some fondant. While our cake is chilling, we are gonna decorate with fondant. We've got white fondant and blue fondant, and then here I've got some wax paper laid out so that it won't stick to the table, and a little bit of powdered sugar to put over our fingers so the fondant won't stick. And then here, I've traced a bill of the hat, Pretty nice. And then this is the bowl that we use to cook the cake in. So when you line it up, that looks about right. And you can vary it however you'd like. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. And I'm gonna stick this little bill underneath our piece of wax paper. And I get our blue fondant and roll it to the size of the bill. And just remember when you're rolling it out, you can always cut it smaller if it's too big. Just rolled out the fondant to be as large as the bill. And then I just cut out the bill shape. Doo 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 and I'm just gonna place it right on top and then cut out my shape. I just put the little bill we made off to the side and now you're gonna take the rest of your blue fondant and we're gonna roll it all out evenly. This is the part that I have known to have some issues with, so if you mess up, it's okay. All right, so you're just gonna take the end of the fondant right here and lightly roll it over your rolling pin. And then lift it up, transfer it over to your cake and then unroll it. Bloop, 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 bloop. You're gonna pull your fondant down just a little bit, slowly pressing it down against the sides of the cake. The fondant is now laid all the way around the cake and you can either use a sharp cutting knife or I've got this little rolly thing, looks like a mini pizza slicer. And we're just gonna cut off the excess fondant all the way around at the bottom. Now that we've got our hat cake covered with blue fondant, I'm gonna set it off to the side and we're gonna roll out the white fondant to decorate the front of the hat. Got our white fondant rolled out and now you're gonna take the same shape that we used for the bill and I've just traced a line that's a little bit more narrow and comes to a point right here at the top. So you're just gonna take some scissors, cut it out. Now using the mini pizza cutter tool, we're gonna cut out our shape. Now we're gonna take our little white shape, put it right here on the front of the cake Ooh, look at our little hat in the making. Now we're gonna put the bill at the front of the cake. So you're gonna take your fondant and you're gonna place it in front. Quack, 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 quack. That was Mighty Ducks. You guys probably have not seen that movie, but it was good. Again, use your mini pizza cutter, cut off the excess. Now that we've got our basics, I'm gonna use the same tool, the mini pizza cutter, and instead of using the smooth side, I'm gonna be using the jagged side to make the seams on the hat. I'm gonna start here, right in the middle, and I'm gonna leave a little bit of spacing on the side and just roll all the way down. Now for the final decorations. I've rolled out a little bit of blue fondant for the button on the top of the hat, and then I've rolled flat another little piece of blue fondant, and I cut out this little pine tree right for the middle, and trace it out, cut it out. A lot of the fondant has set, so to get fondant to stick to fondant, especially little details, all you need is a little paintbrush, and I've got a little thing of water over here, and you're just gonna put a drop. You don't need much, just a little drop, and that will act as a glue. Help fondant stick to fondant. Da da! Here is the Gravity Falls Dippers hat cake that we made today. I hope you guys liked it. I had so much fun making this. Look, it looks just like a hat. And I absolutely love this cartoon, so thank you, thank you, thank you for suggesting it. This was like so much fun. I'll be posting lots of photos on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you guys make this cake or any other hat cake, please send me your photos. I love to reblog them and post them. I just get a big kick out of seeing your baking creations. It like makes my day. And if you have any other suggestions for any other nerdy nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. 
All right, thanks again. Bye-bye.